I call forth from within the light of source. Thank you for standing at the forefront of my heart and mind. Thank you for activating the ancient wisdom of my soul. I welcome in the support of heaven, earth, the stars, light beings, and beyond. And so it is. Hello, hello, lovelies. Hello, and welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. This is your girl, Abigail Nensabonsu. Welcome back. This week is so delicious. So we ended last week with the energy of the Chinese New Year and New Lunar New Year. And also, um, what was the third one? Yes, the first new moon of the year, which is the new moon in Aquarius. This is such a big and expansive and nurturing energy. There's so much flow that comes with this. But this is the energy that we are um, operating in this week. It is this is what comes in. It's like we've been presented with a brand new a book or a journal that is brand new. So has never been written in there. And we're being given the opportunity to write what it is that we want to experience this year. So this is a great week to start writing your intentions. This is a great week to start um, visioning, you know, thinking about what you would like to um, embody, what you would like to um, receive what, we, what you would like to experience, what you would like to bring into your life. This is a great week to begin doing that. And I say to begin doing that because I want you to give yourself the space. There's no timeline here. You're like, I have to do it at this time, right? You have to allow the vision to come to you. You have to set the stage so that the, the goals and the intentions that are in alignment with you to come through to you. I hope by now you have moved away from trying to make things happen to just simply allowing the things that are here for you to come forth. It's a different energy there, right? When you are trying to make things happen, when you write certain goals just because, right, and they have nothing to do with what your soul wants to experience or what makes your heart sing, it is coming from the ego, right? It is like, I want this, I want that, but there's no foundation to it. And these are the type of goals that just, they're dud. They never come to fruition because there's no anchor to it. Your soul doesn't even want to experience it. These are the type of goals that, you know, if I were to um, check in with you, let's say around like June, July, and I say, go check out your goals and tell me if they still resonate with you. These are the goals that you would ask yourself, why did I even write that down? I don't even want that, right? <laughs> so it is important for you to tune in first and ask your soul, ask your heart, what is it that I am excited to experience this year? What is for me to experience this year? And then open up, open up to receive. This is how I've been setting my goals, like, or even my intentions, like they just, is so fulfilling because what comes through is exactly what it is that I want to experience. It's exactly what it is that um, I want in my life. It's the type of medicine I want in my life, right? So I hope that you give yourself that space this week to ask the question and simply open up to receive what comes through. And when you do intentions this way or writing your goals this way, you would notice that it's more quality over quantity. You know, before I could write like three pages of goals and intentions. And of course, by the end of the year, I'm like, why did I? No, no, no wonder this didn't happen. Like just crossing things off, like, no, 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 because I was just writing things down. And now, you know, I mean, if I'm lucky, I'll write a whole page of it, but it's like half a page, but they're, they're like, that they're packed, they're like a vitamin pill. They're packed with everything that I need and the things that I don't even know are coming. They kind of have this, the holding space for the mystery to truly unfold for me. This is what I am, um, I'm hoping that 
This is the invitation that I'm extended to you to move away from just writing the goals and intentions from the mind, from the ego, and move into the heart and the soul and ask the questions. What is it that my soul wants me to experience this here? Who am I becoming this here? What experiences should I call into my life? What kind of support do I want? What kind of love do I want to feel? What needs do I want fulfilled this year? Ask the questions and the answers will come through. And the other part of writing intentions or writing goals, it you know, most of the time I write it in the form of question, in the form of a question. And you know, if you if you're someone who um, want to really step into co-creation with the divine use the questions like right now you know my goals and intentions come to me and so sometimes they're a statement but it's very clear but if i am writing i use a question and that kind of just opens up the door for divine to be like oh well let me tell you right and so you you step out of the way and let divine come through let that divine support to come through it's such a magical way to set your intention so just quiet yourself down, breathe into your heart, open your heart, tune into your higher self, your soul, and ask the questions and receive. Ask the questions and receive. What goals should I set this year that are in alignment with my soul's plan for me? And I talked about this last week where here's the thing. That each year, each new year that we step into has its own invitation for us. Our soul has a plan for us this year. And whether you are aware of it or not, it will unfold <laughs> with or without your help. So when you co-create, when you really tune in and listen to the language of your soul, you begin to operate with the flow of your soul. And it makes the year go by very smoothly. If you ask the, the goddesses in my Goddess Unleashed program, they will tell you that. Instead of you know guessing and kind of moving against the flow, you discover the flow of your own synchronicity and you take that flow. You follow that flow throughout the year. And what happens is what we call magic. <laughs> right magic because there are things that perhaps you never could have imagined like if you were to use your words to ask for something you know it would not have been that but yet it's exactly what you needed right it's a very delicious place to be so if you're interested in being supported check out the goddess unleashed program i have the link below and i also have that new program activate your 2023 blueprint your 2023 soul blueprint so this this is a four-week course where um, you get to discover what your soul has in store for you it is powerful so check both of them out i hope to see you i hope you you get to join in i hope i get to work with you and get to know you more this year i am so excited to see who steps in to work with me this year so i hope that is you so the last thing I wanted to say before I move into what message just wants to come through, you know, this is around this time. Usually it's like around towards the ending of January or from this time to like beginning of February. This is where we really step into the new year. So this is why it is, you know, when I tell you at the beginning, Hey, we're still, most people are still operating in the old year. Actually, most people don't even step in fully till the beginning of March, right? Because some people are still, you know, closing some doors, finishing things up. And that's all good. That's all normal. It is between you and your soul, your soul, basically, right? You, you have a plan and that's what it's unfolding, right? And so it's okay. Just ease into things. Don't, don't rush like everyone is rushing and thinking that you have to do this and do that. What is your soul's plan? You know, this is the time that you begin to really feel the new energy um, of the new year. And so I invite you to really tune in and pay attention. It's, it's really delicious. If you're used to working with this energy, so for example, like for me and also the goddesses in my program, in my goddess homage program, you know, they, they're able to feel this energy come through like towards, 
I mean, as early as November, right? And then the new energy starts to pour in because they've been doing the work. They're in sync with the flow of their own unique design and they're in co-creation with the universe. And so they, it just, things happen very easily because they're in that flow, right? So, but I invite you to feel you know, especially with celebrating, the, oh, I didn't even mention the Chinese New Year, right? <laughs> There's so many New Year's, new beginning around this time that we're playing with. So it is time to write your story. Slow down, spend some time, open up and ask, what is my vision for this year that is in alignment with my soul, with my path? What is it that I want to experience? What kind of emotions do I want to feel this year? What do I want to co-create with the universe? What experiences do I want to have this year? Ask the questions and then give space for it to come to you. Remember, the seeds that you, you plant at this time, it's not like a, immediately, you know, it, it starts to um, well, what am I looking for? Um, create fruits, right? If you, I mean, right now outside, you can't even put plants, uh, any seeds in the ground. It, it's a whole process, right? It has to move through spring. It has to move through summer and then fall. So summer, fall, you begin to receive the harvest. So there's a whole flow there. But remember the seeds that you begin planting by writing down, by, by receiving. So the first planting is within your heart. Remember that. That's the first planting. And then when you write it down, that's the second plant, and you're actually pulling it into your physical reality so you can experience it. So you can experience that growth physically, not just mentally or, you know, like in the etheric realm, but physically, because that is what the whole point is. So if you need support and guidance through this, through, you know, really following your own flow, come work with me. <laughs> come work with me. I would love to show you. This is my expertise. This is one of my, my, um, oh, what am I looking for? My heart offerings, my, one of the things that I guide people through, so. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes, taking a deep breath in, speaking of the heart, begin to breathe into your body, breathe into your heart. And allow each breath to just open up, open up your heart so that you can receive. And now just envision that beautiful golden pillar of light coming down from the heart of the divine into your crown, anchoring into your heart moving, continuing moving and down until it comes out of your feet, creating these beautiful crystalline roots. And allow the roots to move through the different layers of the earth until it reaches the center of the earth. And there, again, open up your roots and anchor into the heart of the Divine Mother and begin to pull up that sweet nectar of support and love and nurturing and magic that she wants to bless you with. And Pull it up, pull it up into your body, let it anchor into your heart, let it come all the way out until it spews out all around you like a beautiful light geyser. <laughs> and then from here, go ahead and call your higher self into your heart if you haven't yet. And see, sense, feel all three energies. So the, the light from the Divine Father, the love from the Divine Mother, and your own divinity and see all three frequencies come together to create a powerful ball of light. And once they do, they expand out and create an outer layer of crystalline light all around you. Really feel, the, feel into this place where you're connected to above, below, and center, and feel the spaciousness. And from here, go ahead and ask, which of these gateways <laughs> am I working with this week to help me bring through my visions and my goals and my intentions that are in alignment with my soul? 
that are in alignment with my heart, that are in alignment with who I really am, which is love. One, two, or three. And once you have received your number on numbers, taking a deep breath in and out, open it up to receive. So I am using the Gateway of Light Activation um, Oracle deck so that we can see which gateways you are working with or gateway. All right. Let's see here. All right. So, you know, on top of all the new energy that is coming through this week, you know, is it feels good because Mercury is now direct. It's no longer in retrograde. Mars is no longer in retrograde. Um, we have another planet that was in retrograde that's also no longer in retrograde. So it's just such a beautiful week to really begin to vision and do some vision and work and do some, um, what do you call it? Like the, is it, oh, why am I forgetting the word? Vision boards. There we go. To do a vision board, you know, to write down your goals and your intentions, right? It's just such a beautiful week to do that. So if you received one, your card or the, um, the gateway that you are working with, that you're pulling your intentions through, is the solar light upgrade. Oh, look at that. Receive it, receive it, receive it. So I love this because it's connecting you to your solar plexus, which is your, your stomach, your upper um, abdomen, right? It's connecting you to your, your willpower. So let's see, the card says solar plexus chakra, inner fire and willpower. There you go. So here is the card, the message from the card or what the card says. The solar plexus chakra is found just above the belly button in the pit of the stomach. It's energetic gateway. It's the energetic gateway that governs our gut, our instincts, and on an energetic level, our willpower and drive. This space can be described as a glowing sun. It is a space of warmth that gives us the necessary focus and energy to fulfill our purpose and realize our dreams. How perfect is that? When the solar star gateway opens, our solar plexus becomes an infinite well of light. I feel like this is my card in the pit of our being. This is a source of our daily inspiration and ancient wisdom. When we feel our willpower increasing, we are remembering that we have prepared for many incarnations for the opportunities we have today. So go ahead and place both hands, both of your hands on the pit of your stomach. So right above the, um, the belly button and begin to breathe, <laughs> breathe into your stomach. And visualize a great fiery light switching on. There you go. There you go. And now call your solar power up and out. And you can do that by saying, I now call my solar power forward and out and breathe. There you go. I don't know about you, but it's like I got engulfed <laughs> by this, this delicious fieriness. Beautiful. There you go. All right. Here's the message from this portal, this gateway. The light of the great central sun is shining on you, activating you to push forward and onward and to create. This is a perfect time to move forward with projects, goals, and intentions. Align your energy with whatever you are ready to create and experience. Focus on what you are ready to grow and where you are ready to expand. As you focus your goals, you are given them and as you focus on your goals, you are given them energetic encouragement to flourish and open like the warm summer sun kissing the ground, encouraging the flowers to grow and bloom. The sunlight, that sunlight has arrived, is here in you now. Woo! I don't know. Do you feel it? If you received one, do you feel this activation already? Work with it, please. Feel free to come back and listen to this section so you can reactivate it and just, oh, 
Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's move on to two. If you receive two, you're working with the Pleiadian, Pleiadian gateway. It says Pleiadian activation. This card is about coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolutions. These cards are so delicious this week. Let's see what this card is about. The Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, is an open star cluster found in the northwest of the constellation Taurus. These bright blue luminous stars, which formed in the last hundred million years, are among the stars closest to Earth and are the cluster most obvious to the naked eye. It is for this reason that they have been connected to many spiritual traditions through the ages. This gateway transports us to a space where we can witness the great coming together of the Pleiades. Each and every single star within the cluster is representative of a nation of divine beings. The Pleiadians are said to be human-like human like beings who honor the feminine and live in, a, in an advanced way that we on earth could also experience if we were to accept and honor the holiness of the female body. If we we're able to travel to the Pleiades in the third dimensional world, we would not find these beings. However, for they have transcended the physical state and operate on a higher vibration. So when you have the opportunity, go outside at night and try to find the Pleiades in the lights in the night sky. Or you can also look at a picture of it online and then say, great Pleiadian guides, thank you for showing me how to heal the matriarchal line and honor the feminine so that I can support a more balanced and evolved form of existence. <sighs> mm, did you feel that? That was, yeah. Okay. So here's the message for you. Pleiadian energy is about coming together in peace and in harmony. You are blessed to receive this gateway for it is a powerful message of assurance that whatever uncomfortable energy you are experiencing right now will soon be washed away. The Pleiadians are beings who live in complete honor of their planets and their people. They acknowledge that in seeing and connecting with one another, they have an opportunity to see and experience the divine. They also know that the consequences of disrespecting others is for this reason that this is no longer possible for them. If you are being challenged by loved ones now, aim to shift the dynamics of this relationship through a loving approach. The lesson you are facing at this time is an opportunity to heal old wounds and operate from a higher state of beings. Again, here's the card, Pleiadian activation, bring in harmony and balance and resolution. Beautiful. Last card, if you received, oh, this is good. If you received card number three, here's your card, the Anunnaki Light Codes. Anunnaki Light Codes. And this card is about energetic shift, new information, and end of a cycle. So I feel like those of you who received this card, um, this is, a, uh, what, do you, well, what am I looking for, what word? Um, this is a sign that you have closed the cycle of last year and you have entered into this year's cycle, which is beautiful. It's perfect, right? Again, receive the activation from the card. And here is the information about this card. The Anunnaki are a race of cosmic light, light beings who have been coming to earth since ancient times. The Sumerians and Babylonians acknowledge them as the deities who govern the space between the worlds. The divine leader of this incredible race is the goddess Ishtar, a powerful figure similar to the Egyptian goddess Isis. The Anunnaki have taken many forms throughout the ages. They have an angelic warrior-like quality and have appeared with wings, sometimes up to four, and with, with an elongated head and face similar to that of an eagle. When the Anunnaki appear, 
It's important to know they are heavenly allies supporting our healing and ascension. In the distant past, they visited the Atlantean civilization and helped those who were aligned with the spiritual path to ascend to the next dimension so that they could leave the wheel of karma. They acted as divine judges, deciding who could ascend and who had to be left behind for the growth of their soul. Those who had abused their powers and had not honored the divine or valued the great gift of life they had been given had to remain for the cataclysmic ending of their civilization. For that reason, some people who had had Atlantean incarnations may fear the Anunnaki, but be assured that they are beings of infinite light working for source. This is a powerful card. If you receive this card, there's major healing coming through for you here. So an opportunity to connect. Place your hand on your heart. Oh, connect to that beautiful light within you and then repeat after me. Anunnaki, Anunnaki, Anunnaki. I welcome in the presence of the Anunnaki people. Thank you, angelic cosmic beings, for immersing my energy body in your light codes. I'm going to repeat this. Anunnaki, Anunnaki, Anunnaki. I welcome in the presence of the Anunnaki people. Thank you, angelic cosmic beings, for immersing my energy body in your light codes. Anunnaki, Anunnaki, Anunnaki. I welcome in the presence of the Anunnaki people. Thank you, angelic cosmic beings, for immersing my energy body in your light codes. Taking a deep breath in here. And out. <sighs> All right, here's the message that comes with this card. Great change is coming to you. But this can only occur if you're willing to shift your perception. You may be experiencing resistance to change, but please know this is simply fear of the, of the new, not intuition. If you're wondering what is the best course of action, the Anunnaki are encouraging you to go with the new. Old systems, old ways of being, and old ways of doing things must be released if you are to evolve. Change can bring a sense of vulnerability, but will allow you to make a deeper connection with your feelings, gifts, and what is important to you. You are standing at a gateway of pure potential that will be ignited as soon as you move through this necessary change. Be open to new information, new processes, and new ideas. You are part of the new energy upon the earth. Receive. Beautiful. Hmm. Taking a deep breath in here and release. <sighs> Open yourself up to what is possible this week. Open yourself up to what is possible this week. Allow yourself to dream big, to dream big. Here's the thing, just like what this last card said, the old is done. The old way of doing things no longer will work. And this started last year. And this year, especially now that, you know, the new moon, the first new moon of the year, opens up in Aquarius. I mean, we are in the Aquarian energy. The old ways of doing things no longer works. Be open, be fearless and step in into the new. The path, the door is already open for you. Have the courage to step through and trust. Trust that whatever it is that you face in front of you is exactly what your soul intends you to experience that you are in good hands and you are loved. You are so loved. <laughs> you are safe, you're secured on this path and you are definitely never alone. Have faith, trust, trust your soul, trust your higher self, trust your own divinity, trust your instincts, trust your intuition. You're in good hands. All right, my loves. Don't forget, if you would like to work with me, 
Um, you know, this January, I have the four week program, activate your 2023 soul blueprint that you can join, come in. I have amazing goddesses who have already joined. So come in, um, the activate program is not just for women. So if you're a man and you'll be called, you can also step in too to discover your blueprint. Actually, that's why I decided to create that portion of it. But if you would like to deepen into mentorship with me and discover and unleash your goddess energy and learn how to flow and co-create with the divine and create magic and create the life that you know you're here to experience, then join my Goddess Unleash program. So find both of the links below. And last thing, if you are on Inside Timer, that meditation app, find me. I am a teacher on there. Find me on there. I have the link below as well. And make sure that you follow um, and like some of my meditations on there. I love you so much. Let us dream away this year. Let us write down our visions, our intentions, the things that we want to experience this year, the things that we 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 want to do that will make our heart just soar let us take this time this week to just simmer in the new energy that is just downpouring on us at this time that it we are immersed in from my heart to yours until next time you have a beautiful week bye Yeah, yeah, yeah.